everyone, KiwiKing77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video reviewing the ice cream sandwich Blazer ROM on my Samsung Epic 4G Touch. Very excited about this ROM as it is one of my favorites, at least on gingerbread it was, the Blazer ROM, so of course I'm very excited to run the ice cream sandwich based ROM. First of all, big, big shout out to my man Phantom Hacker for this ROM. Um, I do want to give him a big thanks, of course, for putting this ROM together, so be sure to go thank him. I do have a video showing you how to install this ROM if you want to check that out. I will link to it in the description of the video below. But uh, anyways, here it is, the Phantom ROM, uh, the uh, Blazer ROM, actually. Um, right away, you'll see the lock screen, um, the stock lock screen. You'll see it is based off of uh, the latest FF11 leak, um, ice cream sandwich based leak. So let's go into settings, scroll down, go to about phone, and under about phone, you will see build number right here. You will see it does say Phantom uh, FF11. So that's what it is based off of at the moment, Android 4.0.4 .4 ice cream sandwich, of course. Uh, so those of you familiar with the ice cream sandwich based leaks, this is based off of the latest one. So um, as I said, stock lock screen for ice cream sandwich, one of my favorite lock screens. I love it. Uh, you'll see very cool background, uh, that light blue kind of tint background. Even the, the lock screen is a little different, but uh, very cool there. Uh, other than that, though, uh, you have an awesome status bar, actually. I really do like the status bar up at the top here. Uh, you will see, um, you'll see the clock. You have your a different battery style icon. It is blue, and you got the battery percentage underneath it. Um, you'll see signal bars right there, stock ICS signal bars. Uh, you have a 3G icon as well. Let me go to the, my browser, and you can see it light on up green and orange right there so there you have it there there's your 3g icon uh, let's turn on 4g and we will see that icon as well i believe 4g icon is modified and themed um, as it, it is of course so there you have it there you got uh, a different 4g icon as well so very cool um, overall though i pull down the notification bar you'll see up at the top these icons are really really cool um, they light up blue when you select them. Uh, you, you, you'll see there you got a nice gray tint as well to them. So very awesome. There you have a nice settings button right there, which will take you directly into your settings, which I love having right there. Uh, it's very nice. The status bar is somewhat transparent, so you can see through it. It's not fully transparent, but it does have a, a, a transparent feel to it. You'll see at the bottom there it says blazer very subtly. Um, uh, but overall, I love the status bar. The theming is great. I do really like it. Um, he's looking into doing more theming for future releases, so expect more to come um, as updates come. But uh, other than that, though, you have your stock TouchWiz launcher, very minimal apps, uh, really no bloatware whatsoever. All of that has been removed. It is pre-rooted. As you can see, Super User is right there. Uh, but overall, I mean, it, it is pretty much uh, running all the stock apps, nothing out of the ordinary, but it is very, very smooth um, and very stable. I haven't had any issues whatsoever with it. I mean, if you're running an Epic 4G Touch, you're definitely going to want to um, run this ROM because it's awesome. So um, other than that, though, uh, it has the stock FF11 kernel. So, uh, of course, I don't believe it does have any custom recovery, so make sure you aren't flashing any ROMs via this recovery. Um, it has some EXT4 tweaks. Uh, it does have Beats Audio, so if you're a big fan of Beats Audio, it does have that included. Um, it has a uh, the hotspot hack, so you can use Sprint Hotspot. You can hop into it and broadcast your device, uh, whether it be on 3G or 4G. Just turn it on, and you can connect via your PC just through the native tethering application, so no third-party tethering application needed, so that is great. I believe it does have a modded camera, so I believe there should be no sound. Um, don't hold me to that though, let's try it. No sound whatsoever, so no focus sound, no take a picture sound, so that's awesome. I know it can get pretty annoying to have that, so that would be removed. Um, I mean, G there has some GPS tweaks, so GPS should work great as well. It has the 1X mod, so if you're in a terrible uh, data speed area, it will switch to 1X. Um, if, if, you, if you know that. Uh, but other than that, I mean, everything looks great. Uh, it does come with swipe, in case you were wondering there. So we can go ahead and send a text, 466453. So let's send Google a text saying hi. And uh, there you go there. Um, you also have other keyboard options. You do have Samsung keypad, which should pop up. And you also, I believe, have uh, the stock ICS keyboard. You do, right there. So. Uh, hey Google, how are you? There's that. 
So you do have the stock ICS keyboard, which I love. So you have swipe, stock ICS, so you have great keyboard options uh, available for you with this ROM, which I love. So I'm definitely gonna be running this ROM, no doubt there. Um, so uh, very excited. Um, everything has been smooth, as you can tell. Um, really nothing, no lag issues whatsoever. Stack theme with the settings, uh, same with overscroll glow. You get that light uh, blue overscroll glow. Only thing that's really themed is this uh, st is the status bar, but expect more to come, of course. I believe he's looking to kind of pair up with someone that uh, does theming work to help him out with that. Uh, but overall, you should have other tweaks to help battery life and speed and everything should just be very fluent and fast, as you can tell with this video. Um, but uh, yeah, other than that, of course, you got your power off restart, airplane mode, silent mode in the power menu. Um, you can, if you do want the stock ICS launcher, of course, you can go into the Play Store and install uh, Apex Launcher, all those other good ones, or you can, uh, I don't believe Sprint ID is on here, I would, uh, I would hope not, which it's not, so Sprint ID is not in here, but you can go into Settings, and I believe go into Applications, I don't know if he left it in here or not, and then go to All, and then find TW Launcher, um, so let's go ahead and see if, where it is, so it should say TW Launcher right there, and then go ahead and hit Clear Defaults, and once you hit clear defaults, go home, press the home button, and it looks like he uh, got rid of it. He got rid of the stock launcher out of here, which is no big deal because you can go to the Play Store and install either Hollow Launcher, or Apex Launcher, all those good ones. So uh, no big deal there. So TouchWiz Launcher is the only one uh, option you do have. But uh, yeah, that's that's really about it. All your stock apps, of course, uh, modded camera application. Um, should have some RAM optimizations, lag fixes. Uh, so overall, great ROM. Be sure to check it out. Let me know what you think as well. Be sure to leave a comment. I'll be happy to hear from you guys. Be sure to subscribe as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.